With the change in formation, we're playing a lot more attacking than we were previously. It has resulted in some very, very good results and one very poor one. So after the January transfer window, we then faced Watford at home and won 5 0. Sid Martin Xavi with a brace and an own goal. Absolutely fantastic performances. One of our best attack and performances of the season. We then went away against Manchester City and won 1 0. Sid with the only goal of the game in the 11th minute. A very, very good performance by our defence. As you can see by the match stats, Manchester City were on top for the vast majority of the game, but we counted them well and we got the win. We then went away from home against Spurs and 1 2 1 Malungu and Roy Martin had put us in front 36 minutes in 2 0. They did get a late goal though, 81 minutes, and it led for a nervy last 10 minutes or so, but we did manage to clinch it. And then this was the disappointing result a 4 3 away defeat against Burnley. Pickard, Bruno Cesar, and Xavi were the goals for us, but Burnley were just one step ahead in terms of their clinicalness in front of goal. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this with only 10 games remaining of the season. We currently sit in third position, very, very well placed to at least try and get a Champions League spot. We are seven points behind Manchester City, so a title challenge probably isn't on the cards. But uh, yeah, we're doing fantastically well. 10 points, if 10 games even. If we won every game, we would end up on 84 points, which would, of course, put us top of the leaderboard. So we can afford to drop five points and still manage to come top. That's going to be a massive ask. We've got some big games coming up, some huge games. And starting today, our two games that we are playing will be against Crystal Palace and Liverpool. Both home games, and I'm hoping for two wins. So to start with today will be Manon in goal, Bruno Cesar, and no, it's not going to be Bruno Cesar. It's going to be Atia and uh, Ayo David starting in the defence with Dreschel, Babic and Schlup starting in the defensive midfield areas. Sinan and Gonzalez in the centre of midfield. Sid in behind Picard and Xavi. So our former side, of course, Crystal Palace have a lot of familiar faces in their starting lineup. Jim Garcia and Nuno are both one of ours. Monganga is one of ours. Paton, Karaviev, Alfonso, all players we signed for Palace. They're not having the best of seasons. I believe they're currently sitting in 15th place in the Premier League. Hopefully, we can make that even worse for them today. Um, right, obviously, 40 seconds in. Wasn't really paying too much attention to the highlight. I thought it was just going to be one of them that didn't really count. Yuri Karaviev, our former man, one of our best 11 players, if you saw the last episode. Let's put Palace 1-0 up. Another highlight now, once again, it's Crystal Palace coming down the left-hand side, but we do get a clear, and Valentin Pickard brings it down nicely. He feeds it through to Xavi, who's in behind. And that is just an absolutely shotgun strike. Another highlight now, only five minutes to go in this first half. Babic picks it up from Dreschel, and he switches the play to Schlup on this left-hand side, who cuts in, gets past a couple of men. I knew he was going to shoot. I've told him not to. Another highlight now. Gonzalez gives the ball away to Andy Patton in the centre of the park. And now Crystal Palace are going to break. Manning bringing it down this right-hand side. He whips it in. Adrian to Sama Singh. Uh, good save. Karaviev is there, though, for the rebound. It wasn't a good save, actually, in hindsight. Um, he should be parrying that much further away from the goal. And uh, unfortunately for us, Yuri Karaviev's 18th goal of the season and his second goal of today's game. Gives Crystal Palace the 2 0 lead before half time and disappointing. It's been a relatively even game going by the match stats, but 2 0 down doesn't fill me all with that much confidence. We'll see how we go for the second half. We are going to make an early change. Xavi, our striker, is coming off. We're going to bring on Roy Martin in that advanced forward role. Time is just ticking away in this second half. We haven't had a highlight yet, and uh, we really need the boys to step up if we are to get anything from today's game. Sid. Gets it from Martin. He's in the box. He gets challenged, but Martin whips it in. Pickard can't get his head on it. He's six foot seven. Pickard. He should be winning that header. Schlup. Can he whip it in? He can. Pickard's there, and Valentin Pickard gets his fifth goal of the season. Our forty-five million pound striker. Five goals. Absolutely delighted. I'm not watching the replay. We need another. Five minutes to go. We'll look to make our final couple of changes. A T can come off of Bruno Cesar. Schlup can come off from of Herrera at left wing back. We're going to go very attacking. We're pushing this. More direct, much higher tempo. And let's just see if our boys can come up with the goods. Oh, highlight, two minutes to go of normal time. Sid picks it up in the centre of the park to Babic, to Marrera. Come on, boys, whip this in. Oh, it's Clay Dreschel. Oh, he hits the side netting. We've certainly had our chances today and we just couldn't take them. Looking at the match stats, I think we can feel a little aggrieved that we've been beat today. But Yuri Karaviev was the difference. 
So we're up against Liverpool. Hopefully we can perform a little bit better than we did against Crystal Palace. A couple of changes to the starting eleven. Babic comes out due to injury. Bruno Cesar comes in for Atia at centre-back. Uh, Music then comes into central midfield as Cyan drops to the defensive uh, midfield position. Other than that, we are exactly the same as how we started the last game. Please, boys, let's let's get one win. I was hoping for two. I'll take one at this point, clearly. Uh, I'm not talking about Liverpool. They're too good. First highlight of the game comes five minutes in. We're on the attack down the left-hand side. Javi's ball was great. Pickard's header was decent. It goes just over the bar. Another highlight now, I think. We are performing, at, having looked at the previous five, ten games or so since we've been using this formation, we play better against better sides and we are struggling against the sides that we probably should be beating. So maybe I need to, maybe we revert to the old tactic, which is weird. The more defensive tactic against teams we should be beating and the more attacking tactic against teams we shouldn't. I mean, yeah, it's a bit strange, but it might be what we have to do for the run-in. Another highlight now, Dreschel coming down the right-hand side, feeds it to Xavi. It's a great challenge by the Liverpool player. And the goalkeeper just about keeps that out in the match engine was fooled, thinking that was a highlight. Am I looking at this right? Are they playing Iliax Mariba as a centre-half? I mean, I mean, he can do it. <laughs> of course he can. But that is so strange. Another highlight now, ourselves on the attack once again, coming down this left-hand side. Sinan Sayanta music. In the centre. Please don't lose it now, boys. Gonzalez tries to switch it to the right-hand side. Liverpool win the ball. And no doubt are about to pounce on the run counter. They play the ball beautifully to Luis Enrique on this left-hand side. He gets past Dreschel. Can he get past the other? He finds Shirky inside. The ball is switched to the right-hand side for Maillard. Schlupp gets back and defends well. And he clears the ball to Xavi who finds Valentin Pickard. He's got the pierce to beat these man. He's in behind. He can't beat Heatley. 45 million. Cyan with the corner. He whips it in. It's by oh, 45 million well spent. His seventh goal of the season. Sidan Sayan's a back post corner doing the trick for us. And we go 2 0 up against Liverpool. 32 minutes in. Well done, boys. And a part of me is saying, Sam, come off attacking. You're 2 0 up. You don't need to be attacking anymore. But we are dominating this game so much that I just I don't want to come off it. I want some more goals. Sid switches the plate to Schlup on this left hand side. He's driving at his man. Mayard. Brings him down, ref. That's not, that's, is that not a penalty? Maybe not. Ayo David plays it back to Schlupp on the left-hand side. He whips it in. Pickard is there. And this is what I wanted from Pickard all along. Six foot seven. He could have been doing this all season. Why didn't I do this earlier? <laughs> West Brom three, Liverpool nil. We are making these look like utter jokers. We are performing so well against the better sides. That's unbelievable. And Pickard is doing just as well in the second half of this season. I didn't even realise. That's his hat trick. And now we have it. West Brom 3, Liverpool nil. Half time. More of the same, boys. I want some more goals. Well, maybe not more goals. The second half's kind of died. 76 minutes in, we'll look to make some changes. Sinan Sayan could come off for Yanis Bonman, a young German who hasn't got enough game time this season for my tastes. So we'll get him on now. We'll also make a couple of more subs, bringing on Marrera at left wing back and Bot in attack and midfield. We have our first highlight of the second half, 77 minutes in. Music whips it in from the right-hand side to Moreira on the left. He plays it into Xavi. The shot is blocked. It comes out to Bot. Michael Bot's first goal of the season. I think it's his first appearance, to be quite honest with you. It's not often he gets on the pitch. where free signing in the summer, I do believe. And 4-0 uh, against Liverpool. You watch the Palace game, and we struggle to break them down. You play a side who plays a little bit more attacking with a, an attacking formation, and we destroy them. Still six minutes to go, and still more time for some goals. Hopefully. Music switches it to the left-hand side for Marrera. He can't get past his man in Liverpool. Are potentially on the counter here unless we can win it back quickly. And we do. Michael Bott picks it up in the centre of the park. Feeds it to Dreschel on this right-hand side. Back in the Bonman. Can you... Is there no space on this left-hand side? There certainly is. Marrera just about keeps it in. It was a poor pass in the end. And Liverpool are away now in behind with Mendes. He had all the time in the world. Thankfully, he's offside. Because that was a dreadful strike fight by him. Marrera with the free kick. Pickard is there. Is that an own goal? Or is it going to be disallowed? I think it is disallowed. Yeah, Valentin Pickard was pushing the goalkeeper, apparently. And there we have it, boys. It was not It was a handball. Pickard's goal. West Brom 4, Liverpool 0. Valentin Pickard justifying his £45 million price tag by getting a hat-trick against Liverpool. That is not too shabby at all.
So a disappointing first result against Crystal Palace to be sure, but that Liverpool result certainly made up for it quite well. We're now set on 57 points with only eight games remaining. We're four points clear from Manchester United in fifth. So if we can get Champions League football for West Brom, that will be absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to the next episode then, boys. Probably be the final couple of games. Birmingham City and Norwich, both away from home. Some big games in between. Hopefully we can pick up a majority of wins on those games. I think against the likes of Forest, uh, Newcastle and Fulham will maybe play a different formation, but stick to the same against Manchester United and Chelsea. We'll test it out and see how it works. But anyway, lads, that is going to be enough from me. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.